Today I'm taking a slight detour from our usual Asana content. I'm gonna be introducing you to a tool called Fello. Fello is a note-taking and meeting productivity app that me and my team have been using for over a year now to stay aligned, stay on the same page when it comes to meeting agendas, action items, and all of the notes that come out of our meetings. But don't worry, I am gonna be talking about Asana because I'm gonna show you how this tool also integrates with Asana. So if you're here for productivity, here for Asana, you're in the right place. But in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the app. I'm gonna keep it super high level because this is an introduction to Fellow, but I'm going to highlight all the key features showing you how to get started using the tool and what we love about it. But if you are new here, my name is Marky Murray. I am an Asana partner, now Fellow partner, and the CEO of Surface. And I'm so glad to be bringing you this content. I make videos like this every single week. And so I'm going to be switching things up. We're going to be talking about Asana here. We're going to be talking about Fellow. We're going to be talking about HubSpot, Miro, Notion, and various other tools because I want to help you to get the most out of your technology stack. And so let's take a look at this. But if you have experienced the problem of, you know, not having agendas for your meetings or showing up to a meeting and asking yourself, hey, what are we talking about today? And you have been looking for a solution. I definitely got it for you today. So let's take a look at the demo. I'm going to show you how to get set up. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll leave a link down below. If you do want to try fellow out for you and your team, you'll get a trial and uh, we can go from there. So I hope you like it. Let's get into it. So again, I've been using this for over a year now. Um, we're, we're really well versed in the tool, but I'm going to show you what it looks like to just like sign in and, and get started. So as you can see, you can log in through your Google account or you can create an account just through email, but it will sync with your Google calendar. And then there are other integrations that you can use as well. So I'm just going to go and log in to our existing space and it's going to bring us in here, going to verify all my information. So it's brought us to our dashboard. So again, I'm going to give you super high level here what we're looking at, but this is what the main dashboard will look like. All right. So in your home section, you've got a, a place where you can search. And so because Fellow does plug into your, your Google Calendar, you can also invite it to your Teams meetings, your Zoom meetings, and your Google Meet meetings, which is what we do. So it'll automatically record all of your meetings. It'll automatically take notes for you. It'll create a transcript. It gives you a nice video at the end. And then there's a summary of the call with action items, with decisions. And you can choose if you want to share all that information with other people that were on the call as well. So it's a very intuitive tool and I'm really excited to show it to you today. So a few things. You can go in and you can search for, you know, whatever you're looking for, because again, it pulls in all that information. It's giving great summaries. So you can search for whatever you're looking for. So I can do like one-on-one, -on -one, like so, and it's going to pull in all the one-on-ones that I may have. There's a, an overview of my week. So again, it's plugged into your calendar. You can see what your week looks like. And then as you have meetings coming up, let's just, let's see one here. This one right here, a meeting's coming up. You know, if I had, you know, taken meetings or notes in that meeting, I could put my talking points here. I can put my action items here and my notepad. And if I had allowed it to record this meeting, it would have shown a summary of that up here as well. Any action items that come out of your meetings as well, they all get sent to this action items menu. But again, I'm told you I'm going to show you how this integrates with Asana because to just have it in Fellow and not in the place where all of our other work is happening just doesn't make sense for us at Surface. And so what's nice is these action items can all be synced right into Asana and we can and determine what project we want these action items to go to. So if I have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with my assistant or a one-on-one -on -one meeting with my marketing manager, right? We have one-on-one -on -one meetings and projects inside of Asana so I can have those action items automatically sync there. And then there's a spot where all of your recordings can live. And so prior to this, we were having all of our recordings go to Google Drive or we used to use Zoom, so they're in Zoom. And then to preserve space, we'd have to download all of those calls and then we'd have to move them into the Google Drive. Like we don't have to do that anymore. They'll still record to Google, but they're always going to be in Fellow and they're all backed up as well. And so what's nice is that when you open them up, you get this nice summary of everything that was discussed. You're getting everything that was discussed. You're getting a summary, you're getting your action items, you're getting decisions, and then you have different chapters where you can just kind of skip right to that spot in the call and, you know, get fully up to speed right away. We have our transcript here as well. And then there's different stats. So it's showing you, you know, who was speaking for how long, what percentage of the call was being taken up. I was presenting in this call, which is why I'm at 60%. But then you can also share this recap with people, right? So you can have a public view. You can have it for people that are just in like our, the Surface workspace, or it can be private to the people that attended said meeting. And then the coolest thing is with fellow Copilot, the module that joins your calls is now you can interact with your call. 
well, right? You can ask it questions. There are some recommendations here. What was mentioned? Was I mentioned? Uh, what happened in this meeting? You can really talk to it to get all that information out of the call. So definitely want to check out Fellow Copilot if you haven't already. I may be a bit biased in saying so, but if you haven't already done it, I highly recommend subscribing to our newsletter, All Systems Go. Each week we deliver the latest news, blog posts, and even free resources on Asana and workflow optimization directly to your inbox. The best part, it's totally free. It's the perfect resource you're looking for to improve your system building skills and productivity through process improvements. All Systems Go is designed to be your go-to guide in navigating workflow optimization, especially if you're new to it. Click the link below to subscribe. You can see an activity feed on like what's happened, what you've missed. If you were to plug in your goals and objectives to Fellow, you could have that all here as well. There's so many incredible things. And I'm just gonna show you a couple of the high level things of what it looks like to get this configured, okay? So first off, you can go into, click on your little icon up here, give your workplace settings, okay? And as you can see, there's lots that you can customize. So in the general section, this is where you can take care of all of the, the branding and what your domain looks like, what your workspace is actually called. And then there are various settings. So things like workplace template creation for the various meetings that you could have. You can create templates that have pre-assigned talking points, action items, and sections within your meeting so that you never miss a beat and you're not having to recreate the meeting agenda every single time because we already don't like meetings, but we don't need to spend more time configuring and preparing for our meetings either. So templates is a really great way to jump in, pull up a template, and get started with that meeting. You can turn on or off the AI features as well here. I just say turn them on because they're incredible and you're gonna want them. There's lots of security settings you can go through as well, right? So who can access this? What happens when your files are shared? Who can collaborate with you? Like I said, you can have templates. So we just have the basic note template assigned right now. You can have different one-on-one -on -one templates, peer templates, and I'll show you what those look like after this. So let's take a look at the integrations because like I said, you can integrate with various tools. So we are connected through Google. I'm not sure why it's not showing this. Oh, this is our user sync. So if you have a Google you know, business workspace and you're using provisioning, you can automatically provision licenses to create a user inside of Fellow. We haven't done that just yet. We have the ability to do that. You can connect it through Okta. We have it connected to our HubSpot. And so what's really cool about that is when the meeting is finished, you can sync your notes directly to the HubSpot contact record. It knows the contact you're having the meeting with and it syncs the notes right to that contact record record and then inside of HubSpot, maybe I'll show you that in another video, within HubSpot, then in your notes section, you can go back and watch the meeting in Fellow or watch it in HubSpot because it's synced to the call recording there as well. So cool. And like I said, you can connect it uh, to Zoom as well and you can do so many other things. I'm not going to show you the, the templates today. I'll probably do a full video on what templates look like, but I'm going to show you some of the other settings. So if you go into your individual user settings, this is where it can get really, really Cool. So this is where you can customize what your profile looks like, how you show up. You can select your direct reports as well. So it understands the relationship you have with the people that you're meeting with as well. Okay. And there's lots of other um, privacy settings you can update within your preferences here. You can have live reactions on like you would in a Google Meet or a Zoom recording. You can tell it what calendars you want it to sync with. And so there's lots of customization here. Within Fellow Copilot, you also have some choices because you might not want to have Copilot pilot join every single meeting. And so you have some options here. For me, I want it on every meeting because I want to be present in that meeting. I don't want to have to be worrying about taking notes and then taking those notes and putting them somewhere else and summarizing those notes. Fellow co-pilot's doing it all for me. And so I have it join every single meeting and that is meetings on my calendar with a video link. So as long as there's a link, whether I'm invited to one or I'm the host, fellow co-pilot's going to show up. Or you can have it for all meetings organized by me, only meetings I toggle manually. And there's actually an option in your calendar where you, where you can turn it on or off. And then who do we want to send recaps to? So as long as someone was invited to your Google meeting, you can have the recap automatically go out to them after the meeting. Because how many times have you heard from your client, hey, just send me the summary, summarize the action points. What did we discuss? Those days are over, right? You can send it directly to them through Fellow as well. So really cool. Let's look at the apps and integrations as well. There is a desktop app that you can download as well. And when it's time for the meeting, there'll be a little banner that pops up over your screen that says, hey, it's time for the meeting. You can join right from there. It'll open up your meeting link, whether it's Zoom or Teams or, or Meet, and you'll be sent right there. It's also an awesome app on iOS and Android. The 
those will be other videos that I'll do. But like I said, you can connect it to your Zoom, connect it to Google Meet, you can connect it to Teams, and then we also have it connected to our Slack channel as well. So we can share summaries in Slack. If there was a group of us that were in a meeting, we can have the summary there, and then obviously we'll link it back to Fellow. We have it connected to our Asana, obviously. We can um, take all of our action items and move them over there. So let's just take a look at what this looks like here. So here we have meetings. Today, I don't have any meetings. Let's see, Erica and I have any meetings. Let's see if there's anything you shouldn't be seeing here. Nope, I think we're good. So what's cool about this is when we're in the meeting, we can either open up the full desktop version like this, okay? As you can see, we're set to, to auto record, or we can open it up inside of Google Meet. So on the calendar side, because like I said, it syncs with your calendar, let's just see if I can pull up a meeting. So here's my meeting with Erica. I had it on Wednesday. We have a daily debrief. And so we can see that fellow is right there, okay? So we're gonna pull this up and we're gonna view our meeting notes. So in the sidebar here, we have the little app. It spins up and you can see that we can have all of our meeting items right here. So no longer do we have to worry about like, where's the agenda? What are we talking about? It's all right here. And then as we go through in real time, like you can see cursors on, on both sides. We don't have to share screen. Screen, you can see it all happening right here. So it's a really, really cool feature. You can check things off as we go through. And if you miss an item, the next recurrence of that meeting, if it is a one-on-one -on -one and a recurring meeting, that talking point or those action names that were not completed will automatically come to your, your current instance of that meeting as well. So you never miss any of these actions either. And so you can go through and you can talk with fellow here. You can ask it questions. You can do a lot of things. You can have private notes here. You can see all your action items and then you can set your objectives there as well. So I'm actually gonna open up a meeting right now. Let's see if I can just do a test meeting. Let's see if this will work. And I'll just have it with myself and it will be a meet. Okay, and remember how I said you'd have to toggle on your fellow co-pilot if you did want to bring it in? Because I have it for all meetings, it's not showing here, but you would see a toggle when you're creating that meeting if you wanted to join or not. So let's join this Google Meet right now. There we go, hope I don't get any mirror and mirror stuff going on. Let's join, see what happens. There we go, we are going and there we are. So you can see in the bottom here, it'll take AI notes. This thing just popped up here. If this was a pre-scheduled meeting, then the fellow co-pilot would be waiting in the waiting room and then it would ask to join just like anyone else. So you can deny it at that point. If you don't want it in there, you can kick it out just like another user. Or I'm gonna do this and now you can see fellow co-pilot is joining and it's going to take notes for us. So let's wait for it to join the call and I'll have to just admit it. So there we go. Marky's fellow co-pilot is ready to join. Let's admit. There we go. So now it's just another person in my meeting taking notes for us. I don't have to do anything. Right now it's transcribing everything I'm saying. I have to call my mom later. I have to pick up dinner later. And I think I'm going to stop eating sugar. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm deciding today. So it's taken my two action items I just shared with you and it's taken my decision as well and it's wrapping that all up into the summary. So super cool. And then if I was on the call with someone else, our talking points would be right here. Action items would be, would be right there. And then we can take private notes. So I know what you're probably thinking. If you have a client on the other side, will they be seeing these things? No, they will not. They will not see the agenda. They will not see your notepad. They're only gonna see you, right? This will be internal for your team and it is that way so that we can keep all of these things to ourselves and we can have some back and forth conversation and really track the things that are important to us. So that's what I love about this. And then what's nice is in the meeting or after the meeting, as you can see, we've got this nice little link to Asana right there. It's going to spin up for us. It's gonna ask me what project or what workspace I wanna add it to, what project I wanna add it to, and then it will automatically go there. So we can do that when we're configuring our accounts. We can do it in the back end, And if we haven't done it in the back end, then we can do it in the meeting as well. So that all of our action items go to the place where all of the work is happening. Cause you know, I'm a firm believer in that. Just because I have a new tool, it doesn't mean I'm gonna change our methodology on how we should be actioning tasks. And so let's end this meeting by Marky and call for everyone. And let's get back over to Fellow. So that is our brief introduction to Fellow today. There's so much more that I want to explore within this tool with you. Maybe one other thing I'll show you right here is you have the ability to add in various automations, okay? And so one thing that I really love and our team knows now is that if there is no agenda, then there's no meeting. 
And so automatically it will cancel said meeting, but you can further customize it. We don't want to just cancel it, but we can send reminders to say, hey, there's nothing on the agenda. People that are attending the meeting, you should probably do something. So there's some customization you can do there. You can have it auto record or not. You can have the fellow recap go out to your attendees or not. You can have pre-meeting reminders, post-meeting notes can go out to the attendees or not. Right? There's so much you can do within your templates. You can browse templates, add new templates. And then again, on the integration side, you can integrate it with so many other apps as well. So there's a lot you can do. And I mentioned that if the uh, action item or the talking point was not addressed in that meeting, you can choose what you want to happen. Do you want them to always move forward, never move forward, or do you want to be asked and make a decision at that point in time? So super flexible tool. This has literally changed how our team uses it. And I can say that confidently because when we introduced it to the, the broader team, there were only a few of us that were using it up until a few weeks ago. We introduced it to our broader team and there were two people that were like, I don't know about this. It seems like it's going to add more work. Why are we having agendas here when we have agendas in, in Asana? Why are we having action items here when we do action items in Asana? And like the second, within minutes of them starting using it, we got messages in Slack saying, "Never mind. I love Fellow. This is amazing. I'm so happy we're doing this. And so I think you're gonna love it too. So again, I've got a link down below. If you do want to check out Fellow for yourself, ask me any questions you have. I'd love to chat about it. But as always, if you like this video, like and subscribe. You're gonna see a lot more of this type of content. And so I can't wait to share that with you. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.